ABC 12 News at 5. Now at 5 o'clock, COVID-19 numbers continue to rise here in mid-Michigan. It's something we have told you has been happening for weeks now. And once again, the state is reporting a relatively high number of new cases. The state health department is confirming 6,008 positive cases just today. Nearly 230,000 people have contracted the illness. There were 42 reported deaths today. For a county by county breakdown of today's new numbers, you can visit abc12.com. As more and more people across our state test positive for the virus, the health care system is becoming overwhelmed. We first told you yesterday, one local doctor says if this trend continues, we could see area gyms turning into hospitals. And one mid-Michigan hospital is already taking drastic measures to handle a surge in new patients. Our Ann Pred joining us now live to explain an Ann Ascension Genesis actually had to put a patient in a storage room last night. Yes, I spoke with a representative from their Teamsters Union. She tells me they had to put a patient in a room typically used to store extra equipment. Let's take a look at what's forced them to get here. Michigan is experiencing a third surge of the coronavirus for weeks. We've seen the number of positive cases continue to rise. Saturday, the state reached its highest daily increase on record with 6,225 new cases. If we add the total number of cases since then, we can report nearly 28,000 Michiganders have tested positive for COVID-19 since Friday. We first reported last night a nurse at Ascension Genesis told ABC 12 there were about 80 COVID positive patients at the hospital. 16 of them were in the ICU. There are 18 beds for those 16 patients, but this hospital, like others across our state, is still helping other six people, sick people, excuse me, performing surgeries, handling emergencies, operating as it would if there was wasn't COVID-19, but that's where the nurses union chief steward tells me the problem arises. They cannot mix regular patients with COVID-19 patients, so they've run out of room in their regular ICU, forcing the nurses to turn what's always been a storage unit for their extra equipment and extra monitors into a patient's ICU room. The chief union steward tells me this happened in March too, at the beginning of the pandemic, which is where her frustration stems from. She says the hospital should have prepared for this and properly equipped this room to handle a patient over the summer. We all as a community and hospital knew we were getting a second round of COVID. That wasn't of are we, it was a when are we. I mean, realistically, at no point in time did we think, oh, because, you know, spring came, our numbers went down, you know, COVID won't come back around. We knew it was coming. It was just a matter of when it was coming. And they're not prepared. And coming up tonight at 6, I'll explain why the nurses are so worried about the patient inside that room and why their low staffing numbers are only exacerbating these concerns. Also, hear how the hospital is responding. For now, live in Flint, I'm Ann Perrette, ABC 12 News.